Um, well, that was a pretty big deal. Um, I got the text from Coach Keller on Sunday letting me know that I won the GPAC um, Special Teams Player of the Week award, which was special. Um, I got that once last year um, for doing the same thing, blocked the two kicks. And then um, I found out a little bit later from our defensive end, Russ Wall, and that I won National Special Teams Player of the Week. And that was really special because of how many, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of players um, that are playing football, and for me to get that one award, that was really special to me. And it was a special moment in my life, so something I won't ever forget. Yeah, um, so right after St. Mary scored on that big pass play, um, they kind of had all that momentum. And I kind of went out there, um, you know, on extra points, it's I don't have the specific mindset to, to block every single kick um, like I do on field goal because three points is really important to stop. But um, extra points are two, obviously. Um, but lining up, I was just expecting the snap count to be different because of I just just blocking that field field goal previously, and they went on the same snap count. They did the exact same thing, and so I didn't even have to die for this one. I went in there and I didn't. I just got my hands on it, and I got a really good balance ball. Took two hops and right into my hands and stumbled a little bit. Tried to keep keep my balance, and then it was off to the races after that. I was pretty tired. Um, Midland's defense is really, really good, and they were really good last year, and I'm expecting them to be the exact same, if not better. Um, offensively, we struggled a little bit. It was our first game. I mean, I know that's not an excuse, um, but, you know, we're still trying to get in the swing of things. We're doing a little different different things offensively this year, so we're still trying to work out the kinks. But um, we want to, you know, like you said, Midland gave it to us last year, but we're out to get them this year, and we need to be successful offensively, defensively, and in special teams to beat them and to beat every team in the GPAC. So um, we can't have turnovers like we did last year. We, uh, I, mean, I think we threw like six or seven picks last year, and that was bad. Um, <clears throat> um, I actually got hurt in the middle game last year early and couldn't play for four or five games after that. So I want to have a big game. Um, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself or anything. I'm just going to go out there and you know have fun and play football and do what I do, but um, we want to we wanna be really successful. We want to come out right away and, you know, have some success on them and drive down the field to get points and kill that clock, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. Are you seniors? Yeah, seniors, um, we have a great group of seniors. Um, it was actually it was a really big honor for for me personally to be voted a captain this year. I was kind of hoping I'd get it last year too, but you know there's other guys that deserved it more than I did. Um, our goals for this year are absolutely to win the GPAC championship. Um, that is not easier said than done. Um, we have a very hard conference in Morningside and Northwestern and Doan and Midland and Dak West and I mean the list goes on. They're all very good teams and. Um, we we want to we want to go ten wins. We don't. We've talked about it, you know, enough in the off season and still now. But we're doing everything one game at a time. So, you know, we talked about going one and zero this week. We don't need to talk about Morningside. We only talk about Northwestern. We'll focus on Midland and we'll do our job there. And then if we do everything right, it'll work out. But um, we want to be the best team that Nebraska Wesleyan has ever seen, and we absolutely have the capability of doing that. We have so many studs on our team it's ridiculous it's just putting it all together and getting everybody to envision the same dream and goal that we want to win the G Pack and make the playoffs and go get a national championship and it's not going to be easy of course but we have the guys that are re ready to work for that so I think we'll be okay